everybody and welcome to the grand finals of the Killing Flow games. This is the second match. Before we had, we had Synergy. We did a great time before, but the commentator is going to do a little bit more specific info about that. I'm going to carry this over to Rainbow Man and Star Wars Ass. And wish you guys a lot of luck. So it looks like I got two sharpshooters, one demo and a support. I've seen this slowed out in some of the other plays during this tournament, and it seems pretty standard. What will you put different about their loadout? I guess we're going to skip the interactions then. I'm Star Wars Oz. Whoops! <laughs> and yeah, I'm Remo Man. Here's the other one. Doesn't sound like me. Uh, I could try, but it doesn't work very, work very well. Interesting hold spot. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is definitely something not quite used to. I usually see uh, them holding out in that upstairs level. I just the demo was in a really good spot. So you both can shoot up into the little corridor up there. Oh, yeah. And just come down two steps and shoot and help out Red Fox and Ryzen. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely less than uh, popular camp spot, but we'll see how they go. Yeah. Also, the loadout works well with this because we have a support down the stairs to help out with whatever you need, and then the demo is focusing upstairs with the other shot. Mm -hmm. Do you think they'll switch places in after the first wave? I'm not sure. Hmm. It doesn't seem like a terrible spot to take. To kill a flush ground, so I think yeah. I might stay here. I've seen some other teams. I've seen some other teams switch positions before, depending on the trader layout. So this yes. might not be permanent. That's just all to see. I know Synergy also did a, um, for that a few times, mm -hmm. but not on this map. Looks like you know, they were moved up to side gas. Yep. Still the grenades taking out some stragglers. By the looks of it. Yep. They might hit the tr finish a trader in about maybe a little under five minutes, let's say. Yeah. There's only a few Zeds left. 40... It's definitely very busy downstairs. Mm -hmm. Where Red Fox and Razor are. Just four from there. Yeah. So we got one last Scrake. Or two last strikes, uh, never mind. Double the fun. Yep. Just like the double flesh pants later. 3 minutes 31 seconds. Yeah, I think they'll be done in a trader around 4 minutes, let's say. Yeah, if they're gonna go head back to that spot then. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit longer. Yep. We'll see where they go. So based on the loadouts, they're pretty well. standard. Hunting shotgun KSG yeah. for HSG for the support. Sharpshooters got their crossbows and Mark 23. While the demo has their grenade launcher. M32. Nothing too unusual, as you said. Yeah, the last, last, the most unusual thing I've seen was the Husk cannon. I can't remember which team used it, but they used it to a very interesting effect. Definitely a um, unusual choice, especially mm -hmm. for a tournament situation. Yeah. Oh, looks like they're holding the same spot. Yeah, same spot, so let's see how this works with the water push rounds. Ah, oh, he took damage falling. Watch it, I'm reloading. And they're just healing up. Why even bother talking about it? Oh, here comes the flash bound. Where it would be. Thanks. Oh, it's coming from the upstairs. And 
very easily taken care of. Mm -hmm. I think with a set demo sandwich between the two of them, I can like alternate between the two positions and just take out any flash rounds. With that yeah, bell, in any case, the spot. five minute mark. Yep, so pretty, pretty excited for this map. It's a bit of a slow one compared to some of the other ones. Mm -hmm. But they're doing pretty well so far. Doing very well. I don't think they're doing really good damage at all. Mm -hmm. They're going to keep all the Zeds at you know, MK link, as it were. Yep. So from the spot is that they can block um, each doorway when a scope is. Mm -hmm. They're asking for a pause. Oh. His ping, his ping seems to be a little bit high. Yeah, ping seems to be a problem this time around a lot. The other problem was uh, demos blowing themselves up. I've seen it happen a few times. Yeah, mm -hmm. So, what do you think the time of the finish would be? Any predictions? Well, it's a bit early to say, but judging from the way they're going, around four minutes every wave. Let's see. I'd be saying around uh, 21 minutes, I think. Hmm, alright. If they're able, if they're able to um, kill the patty with that instant. Yeah. I'm gonna say 25 minutes, just to be a bit more pessimistic. 25, that, that is a long time. Yeah, it is. But, you never know, things can go wrong. Yes, yeah, so we've seen it a few times. Mm hmm. Luckily, KG is very, very kind and offers the people to give a chance if they <laughs> Yep. It's like one overlords, as it were. Mm -hmm. It's like people dealt from their flesh pound pretty easily. Oh, the um, oh. close to Gus. Yep. Yeah. Had a little bit of trouble, but nice, looks nice like fine. Mm -hmm. So he's not looking at getting one of them. That definitely will help out taking things like Gorefrass a lot faster. Yes. <coughs> or just launch a grenade right there and see what happens. It would not oh, end so pretty. That's 20. Yeah, that's about... They're pretty consistent, actually. Yeah. Looks like a nice, nice good spot. Mm -hmm. Not too fast, not too slow. Very safe. Yep. Oh, come on, keep up, mate, will you? Okay, cash here. Someone grab it. The junior lot needed money. So, what's the history behind uh, V52? Burn rubber, lads! Well, they've been part of, I guess, participating in KFG. For a long while now, hmm. no freaks they've been. I think they've played in the last four tournaments. Uh -huh. I had varying levels of success. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, that's weird. Oh, They're in a different place. They just had to cap a different spot. This is interesting. Yeah. But yes, they've been. Um, they've been played. They've been definitely around for a while and played very well in the last couple of tournaments. Hmm. But they've never been added into. Like the grand final before. Oh. Not in recent years, anyway. It's 
so this is a very good opportunity for them. Yeah. See how they go. I'm sure that will be thrilled to be here, even if they don't manage to create synergy for the title. Mm -hmm. They're doing pretty well so far. Let's see if they can keep it up. There goes a the Skrake. Looks like they're leaving Ryzen in his own to take the back, as yep. it were, and focusing on the corridor as well as mm -hmm. Looks like most of them come from the other side, so I think that splits yes. a good idea. Also with the demo hanging back a little bit so you can turn around and support if needed to. Yep. And any straggling flash pounds. Oh, flash pounds. Yeah, those husks aim very well. Wow. So, it's great nice bit close. So, they're at 10 minutes now and they're at wave 8. Yeah, very good timing. So far, we haven't seen much trader time skip, however. They only skipped about 6 seconds. Yes, it's an issue of this map, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Traders are very, very far apart from each other. Yeah. So, unless you get the one that's really like closest to you, you know, long time getting it over there and getting it back. Mm -hmm. I've only seen one team so far that's done a full trader skip, and that was quite impressive. Considering. It was on big video too. Pardon? Oh, yeah. Nice guys here. <laughs> Back on the waterworks, I believe. Yeah. I would not be able to pull that off. These guys have much more better coordination skill than I do in this game. By a lot. So we'll see if they manage to do it again. Mm -hmm. so they'll definitely bump up their time by a lot. Yeah, but going to wave 9 and 10, I don't think they can skip the trader, unfortunately. There's just a bit too much, in my opinion. So they're just clearing out the rest of them? Mm -hmm. <coughs> One siren. Boom. Ah, look, they got a nice close trader. Yep. 11 minutes? A good skip. <laughs> Done in 5 seconds. That's pretty good. Wow. I think we're having no trader time skip to almost a minute. Mm -hmm. That's very impressive. Here comes a flush pound. Yep. No longer. <laughs> Scrake got a bit exploded, but they killed it. Okay, wow. Lots of explosions, lots of bits and pieces everywhere. So the time V52 has to beat is about 22 minutes. 23 think? minutes, actually. It's a bit closer to that than 22. Yep, about 23 minutes. Do you think they'll be able to do it, based on their time so far? With the way they're going, I believe so. They're definitely on track. Yeah. Major happens. They're going at a very good rate. I got wave 9 in 12 and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. But again, not to see. Because as we've seen in the tournament, yeah, things can go wrong very, very quickly. Yep. So we shouldn't say anything beforehand, otherwise we might jinx them, and then they'll blame exactly. us. I don't want to be blamed for something like this. That would be, I think even stretching, stretching it was a bit. Interestingly enough, we have Raz on the top of the kill count. At this time, not that yeah. they even though he's pretty close. Hmm. Obviously, getting a lot of kills at the back there, I'm sorry. Yeah. 
Oh, he has one side to cover himself. He gets a lot more stuff to kill. Oh, flesh from the back. Well, there was a flesh pound in the back. Is. Now it is red list. Mm -hmm. So good old Mart thinks that 15 minutes they'll start the 10th wave. I'm going to say a little bit under that. Or not. Never mind, but I just better stay ahead while I'm at it. <laughs> Depends how far away the um, trailer is. Yeah. They just had the, just had the close one, so I'm not going to get that one again. Mm -hmm. But they don't seem to be going anywhere. Oh, well, they are. They're move off and moving. Yep, let's see where it is. Placing some pipes. Hold on for Christ's sake. Oh, it's not no, too far. Nice. Very, very close one again. Mm -hmm. Do you think they planned this? Yeah, because you can't predict where the traders are going to be. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you never know, one of them might have some extra sensory perception and be able to tell the future. I don't know whether that, whether that would be considered cheating or not. Well, it technically is, but oh, that's a lot of pipe bombs. All right, so at a 15 minute mark. I'm about to stop. Yeah, not far off, but uh... that was very accurate. Mm -hmm. Now he waits for the double flush bounds. Let's see how they deal with that. Oh, oh no, the bloke taking out the Yeah. That could be bad news for them as double flesh guns come in right oh, now. Oh, here they come in. I don't mind them some more pipes. I guess they... I'm telling you, they have ESP. I'm telling you, they have ESP. The first pipe bomb to place down for a bloat and the next two were for a flesh pound. It's like... They can see the future. I feel like I thought using a pipe bomb or a bloat might, might be a waste of resources. It is, but... Made to prove a point. I said they could see the future, now they proved it. <laughs> it's all part of <laughs> It's all part of some that they foresee their victory. That's also possible. But we're only spectators, we'll find out soon enough. Indeed. As far as I'm aware, I don't have any um, future reading abilities. <laughs> I would like to have that kind of ability. The suspense filled me up. Rise has got a scrape coming in. Uh oh! Oh! There go some pipe bombs to crawlers. Yeah. Couldn't hold him back enough, and that happened. Mm -hmm. the Looks like they got good communication. I was just about to say that, yeah. Just need to throw team speak or something else. Yeah. Uh, something like that. There's nothing in game. Mm -hmm. Which is really what you want to be able to speak and say, ask for help or tell yeah. them to push me on this side. Most of the time, I will not be able to communicate to that extent. I'll just see something bad going and I'll start panicking, yelling, screaming, and that just causes the team to lose. No wonder I'm not allowed to play in tournaments anymore. Uh. Well, of course, I am, I am the team leader of the uh, team MGC, which played in this tournament. Mm -hmm. The last we were forced out in the semi finals. Yep. I got the on the back. Yep, and they took care of it. Copious names, man. Mm -hmm. If they only could keep the pipe bombs in place, that would have been a lot more helpful, but it worked out for the best. Oh, they got a couple strikes coming at them. One strike has been taken out, two yep. strikes have been taken out. And, and the third and fourth one's coming out. Yeah, okay, they survived that. It looked pretty bad for a few seconds, but they pulled it together again. They stayed under control. Mm -hmm. Got it done. Coming up to the 80 minute mark. Yep. 
14 left. I think they should be headed towards the trader. Yeah, but it's 21 minutes as, as I have. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we'll see how they go. Thank goodness I didn't make any bets this time. Otherwise, I have to owe Mart some money. And Mart? One sec. You owe me actual okay. money <laughs> from before. Just saying, just saying. Whoever is watching this is going to witness uh, how much money you owe me from the two bets we made before. I didn't make any more bets because why should I win on my head? They got the um, throne room. <coughs> Looks like we're getting. From here. Yep, looks like we're getting a lot of those dual hand cans and flare revolvers. That seems to be a very common trend among them, among most teams. Yes, we've seen that. We've seen that a lot. Yeah. They're very powerful. Mm -hmm. The flare that we can light up the patriarch, so you can see where he's running to. And of course, the dual hand cannons are just good DPS. Mm -hmm. Especially when he gets in close. Yeah. I never quite seen the benefit of the flare revolvers. I know on paper they're good, but. I can never use it myself. So, so here. still heading to their spot. I think they're mm. going right to where they were camping in wave 10. Yep. I think they'll get ambushed. Not quite, the penny's a bit far behind them. Mm -hmm. So, placing pipes down. Cover me, I'm reloading. And they're going upstairs. Well, yeah, different spot. Hmm. Is that they're gonna hold here? I'm still saying they can see the future. Alright, that bell indicates the 20 minute mark. They got one minute here to. Here comes the Patriarch. Oh. Like shooting fish in a barrel. He's running. Yep. Oh! Got, off, shot off. got hit a bit. I need off to heal. He's running through them, ran past them, and. Yep. He'll be back. He'll always come back. So it looks like Ryzen's taking the front line. And might get a face full of Patriarch. Birch Fox having no... Armor left. Someone yep. else has to take the hit. <coughs> hmm. Alright, looks like he sees it. Here he comes around the corner. Yep. Now he's running and oh, he dodged it nicely. And off the wing and yep. Okay, so it ran off. They, the, that was very nice, the f fire and burning in front of the CPC hill. Mm -hmm. Well, they're close. So close. Looks like Patriarch's back up to around half health now. Can they finish him? One more hit go. Yep. Very Great close. Timing is getting close to synergy. Sun. We'll see if they can finish him off. Yep. One minute difference. Well, here he comes. Crossbow's out. And round the corner. Yep. Uh oh. Oh. And they, and they, they took go. it out. Two minutes, thirteen seconds. That was pretty impressive. Looks like they beat uh, Synergy's time. By about 40 seconds. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. So let's just see the next round.